What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we are going to go through a bunch of these Serendipity and Unity Orbs for Marvel Strike Force. We're going to open a ton of them. We've got 30 Unity Orbs. We've got 80 Serendipity Orbs. We're just going to see how bad that we uh, the drop rates are going to be in here. I can tell you from experience so far, the Unity Orbs are trash. They are really bad. The main focus of Unity Orbs is supposed to be Negasonic Teenage Warhead. The unfortunate part is that you're not going to get a lot of her very often. Like the most uncomp, the rarest drop you're going to get is eight shards of her at once. And this is a, this is a bit of a problem. You can go here and then you can see we'll get one pull of like five different five shards of one of these characters. So we have all these characters that have the unity tag on them. These are the characters that you use in Blitz to get the unity fragments. And then you can use them for the two different milestones, the creative differences and explosive combo. You'll use all these and you'll you open the unity orbs to get the increase in the milestones for the explosive combo. Uh, the problem is these orbs, they're just not good. You can see here, we only get like three shards of one of these characters most of the time. It's yeah, it's not good. So we're going to start with the unity orb. Now, one thing I have noticed is that you will be able to get some nice amounts of gold from this. So right now I'm saying about 560,000 gold. By the time I'm opening up these unity orbs, I'll hopefully have one to two million. We're going to start with the Unity Orbs first. So we'll go through one by one. You can see here, well, you actually, I have it blocked by my camera, but I've got the explosive combo milestone down here building up. It's five Negasonic shards right off the bat. And then we're just going to go three Gamora shards. We are getting some advanced basic catalyst as well. Some Green Goblin, but plenty of gold here. That's the nice thing is that at least for how bad the character shard drops are, at least you can get some decent amounts of gold from it. So here you go. Yeah, 35,000 gold there. Another five shards of Negasonic Teenage War Warhead. Going through, we've got some Iron Fist. And we're getting some blue catalysts as well. More Negasonic. And it looks like there's actually a pretty decent drop rate of Negasonic in here. The problem is, is that it's not very high amounts that you're getting dropped for this. When you go to the Serendipity Orb, which will open here in a moment, you have the chance of getting up to 50 shards of Domino at once in there. You're only getting a maximum of eight shards at once here and i mean some of these characters i mean i already have them at seven stars but some of these characters i'm just not going to use like yondu i'll use them as plug and play in certain in certain teams psylocke's nice to have you're building up the x-men team we've got rocket raccoon so there are some good characters here there's also some really bad characters as well still getting some nice gold drops here as well some more negasonic and then a lot of blue gear on the right. There we go. A superior basic catalyst. That's nice to have. Five rescue shards. So it, it's kind of it's kind of hit or miss on what you're getting here. Black Panther's nice to have too, especially if you're working on a hero brawlers team. More Negasonic. I'm not not a big fan of the blue gear on the side, but honestly, there's uh yeah, there we go. Thanos. That's one that's one that's nice to have, especially if you don't have if you don't have them on farm yet. Thanos is unlocked in Nexus, the final note of Nexus. And you have to have X-Men to get there, X-Men, Shield, or Brotherhood, I believe, to get to him. And yeah, without without X-Men and, uh, and Phoenix there, it's kind of hard to complete that Nexus note unless you're really well geared up and have a lot of good uh, a lot of good characters on your squad. But yeah, uh, it looks like we'll we'll get the tally here in a moment. I am very happy to see some catalysts in here. I could definitely use some advanced basic catalysts. That is for sure. And uh, some more Rocket Raccoons, decent gold drops here, which is always nice. Daredevil. We got three more to open here. So 50,000 gold, that's nice. Black Panther, some superior basic cat or um just the regular blue catalyst, Deadpool shards. And here we go, final orb. We got five more venom and 35,000. So let's see, a total of 31 orbs. I got 835,000 gold, 29 nerd sonic, two defense catalyst, 13 Gamora, six ba advanced basic catalyst, and some decent uh some okay character drops here and there. Nothing that's really crazy. I mean, I have an orange piece here. I've got five Thanos shards here. Nothing really stands out. This kind of feels underwhelming for 30 shards. This whole Unity event has just been mired in controversy. And looking at these drops that you get here, I mean, you don't get a lot of Nerd Sonic from here. And this Unity Orb is supposed to be about her. And I mean, you're going to get some decent amounts from doing the two milestones for her. But man, for opening up 30 orbs, that's not a lot of Nerd Sonic shards. So that one's kind of lackluster. Let's do the Serendipity. This one's going to be fun. Hopefully I can get some nice pulls here. When I did the Taskmaster campaign, I actually had some good pulls of orange pulls or some good orange pulls from uh, for Taskmaster there. Let's see. Yeah, we get Domino Shards on the left and right. But then in the center, you can get up to 24 of Domino at once. 
and then here you can get 18. So you have some decent chances of getting some higher domino shards. But the question is, is that going to hold up overall? Is this going to just be a repeat of Nerd Sonic? And here you have your lucky characters. So Crystal, Cable, Deadpool. You have some good characters in here. Loki, Hela. I mean, Deadpool and Cable with their rework. Crystal's pretty good. Doctor Strange and Heimdall, if you're working on that. There's Psylocke. There's some characters in here, probably not as good, like Wasp, that one's okay. Spider, the two Spider-Mans, if you don't have them yet, but they're Blitz Store characters. Storm's okay. I mean, yeah, it's Mr. Sister in here is also nice to see as well. He's War Store farmable now, but if you can get some extra shards for him outside of the War Store, that's going to be nice to see. So let's start opening up these Serendipity Orbs. And right off the bat, we start with eight shards of Storm. Let's see how many shards of Domino we can get by the end here. Hopefully we can get some good pulls along the way. Mantis, can I, uh, no, I don't want, I don't want Wasp. Give me something good. Five shards of Domino. Give me, give me one of those orange shards. Give me one of those orange drops. I want to get one of those nice, really nice orange drops. Hawkeye. Let's see. Mantis. Not getting a lot of, uh, not getting a lot of Domino here. I'm already, what, 10 orbs in? I think I've only gotten one or two pulls of Domino. So the chances are not looking good here. I think uh, I think I may need to invest in the C theory. I don't really do much of the C theory stuff, but uh, I, I do notice from time to time that you can get some really stupid good pulls of the of orbs, and it's just kind of it's, whether it's just luck or some kind of seed thing. Who knows? But yeah, I can definitely see the theory, the appeal of a C theory. Uh, still not a lot of domino shards. I'm getting pretty much everything. Oh, there we go. A 14 pull of domino. Yeah, not uh, ooh, ooh, 16 of Domino that time. Oh, I should uh, I should talk about my bad luck more often. Apparently, Wasp. Come on, give me uh, ooh, eight Mister Sinister. I will take that. I need to work on my Marauders team. I guess there's rumors about Marauders coming back here, or some kind of new Marauder character coming soon. Uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, it's someone nice like Gambit or uh, and people are saying Rogue as well. We'll see another 16 pull of Domino. Eight more of Mister Sinister. The Mr. Sin I'll be happy with Mr. Sinister. If I don't get Domino shards, but I get plenty of Mr. Sinister, I can be happy with that. That's nice to see, because, you know, uh, any character that's farmable in the War Store is not exactly uh, not exactly the easiest to get. Because you're having to balance, like, your mini uniques and, uh, and like, your orange pieces that you're going to see in there. It it's kind of hard to balance that, plus buying characters from there. And, yeah, it's just not the best. There we go, another 14 pull of Domino. Not bad so far. I've still got 99,000 shards currency to go, or orb currency to go. Slowly working through this, some cable shards as well. Deadpool, damn nice to see Deadpool and Cable. I still don't have them farmed up all the way, so I'll be happy with their shards too. Miss Marvel, I, I do have her pretty high up, so I can go without her. Crystal will save me some arena currency. So, I mean, it's not it's not all bad in here. The problem is, is that you're not seeing a lot of pulls of Domino, and as I say that, I get another 14 pull of Domino. But one of the big problems that started popping up with the Taskmaster event was that people were getting everything but Taskmaster, and Taskmaster really brings that Merc team together. And without without Taskmaster, you don't have that good Merc team. The nice, uh, nice pull of eight Hella shards there. Another pull of eight for Hella. So that's sixteen for her. Nice to see five of Falcon. So yeah, uh, one of the big problems was that you could not get a lot of Taskmaster shards from that campaign or. And that was really causing a problem for people is that there's just so many other characters thrown in to that orb. It was just really hard to get Taskmaster pulls. Still haven't seen an orange pull yet. I mean, the math says I should probably I have a decent chance of seeing one orange pull here. But um, yeah, I mean, this is this is I've been I've been hoarding these up since the beginning of the uh, of the campaign. I haven't spent any of the serendipity orbs. This is just what I've farmed up over the course. I've done the 500. I've done the 50 and the 100. Or refreshes on the serendipity campaign energy and just kind of making sure i use it as much as possible so i didn't have a lot of lost energy around but i was able to just kind of get a full farm of the hard node and the medium node campaigns every day just to kind of get the serendipity orbs going uh let's see still no uh still no orange pull of domino here Sp spider-man miles uh, some Heimdall, if you, uh, saves you some arena currency. And Human Torch. Ah, uh, come on. Give me, give me one good pull of Domino here. Please, Scarlet Witch. More Scarlet Witch. Come on. We got, we've got ten orbs left. Another eight, Mr. Sinister. 
will never say no to more Mr. Sinister orbs. I'm, or I'm always happy to see some shards for him. Doctor Strange. Spider-Man. Let's see. Come on. Finish this up. Just a few left to go. There we go. Another 14 pull of Domino. So, I mean, you're going to have at least a couple hundred shards of Domino from this overall. So that's nice to see. But... Yeah, it, it was kind of hoping for more pulls of her in the center here. But honestly, I've kind of had some really good luck with or with the purple pulls for her. Some shards of Loki there. Nice two. Storm. And one last orb. Some Toad. So also Toad. I mean, Toad's going to be farmable in the Blitz store here soon. Final tally is 400 shards of Domino. Wow. But I also got really lucky with the, with the purple uh, pulls there for her as well. So that one, I think uh, you can expect quite a bit less in your Serendipity orbs. But... Yeah, I mean, 39 shards from Mr. Sinister, 36 for Hawkeye, some Deadpool, uh, some Falcon, some Cable, 13 shards for Toad, nice to see, 5 for Loki, 16 for Hela, 18 for Crystal, that'll definitely save me on some Arena currency. So, overall, the Serendipity Orb looks like you've got some decent pulls for for uh, for Domino there. We'll go over the, uh, we'll go over that central, central pull one more time. I mean, where I was getting a lot of it doesn't, yeah, I was getting a lot of uncommon, uncommon, so, so I had about 11% chance to get either 14 or 16 shards of Domino from that, so it seems like one out of every 10 should give you one of those good pulls of her, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, it actually looked pretty good, I think, uh, I think overall, the Serendipity Orb, you're gonna get some decent pulls of Domino from there, but there's so many characters in there, it just feels unnecessary, like, there's not, uh, there's not that many characters you should be having pulled from this there's there's a lot of characters in here that just don't really belong i don't want wasp don't give me wasp no one wants wasp i mean i could do without the spider-man characters as well scarlet witch storm i can go with them mysterio and eh, ms marvel and eh, but i mean toad mr sinister psylocke loki and hella i mean some of these are nice so i get they have to balance it with some bad pulls too but let me know down below how has your luck been with the serendipity orbs you guys like the pull the drop rates for them do you guys think they still need to do better with them the uni orbs seem like trash so hopefully we can get some next time we have a milestone event for something like this with nerd sonic hopefully we get some better orbs from her let me know what you guys think down below as always guys feel free to like share and subscribe i will see you guys next time